I've got a special guest here today. Hello. She goes by the name of Chloe Closter Clo. She's got many names. Many. <laughs> many. Good ones only. <laughs> I said you were my cousin, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Today, we are both taking you through the process of homifying and cozyifying her dorm. I know many of you are experiencing the first move out home yourself, and I wanted to give you some ideas on how to make your dorm a little bit more comfy and cozy and just more exciting than the typical dorm that you walk into, which is not usually plain. very, yeah, plain, not very comforting. I was kind of sad that I didn't get to decorate a space myself, so I'm very thankful that I got to help Chloe with hers. And yeah, let's dive right in. <laughs> Should be noted that Chloe's also an editor, so this is very odd for her. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> usually behind, behind the camera, and now she's in front of the camera. You're doing great, great job though, yeah, close start. Okay, so the natural place to start is what did this room look like before we got decorating and stuff. Yeah. The walls were bare, it was just no color at all. Yeah, we it just needed some It needed spice. Work. It needed <laughs> spice. I think the three things that we identified as major things we needed to work on were the fact that the walls were bare, uh, the shelving unit near Chloe's bed wasn't really being used to its full potential, and the closet didn't have a door, so we wanted to kind of give some sort of separation between the closet and the room, especially like during those times where your closet's not looking too organized <laughs> and nice, which like I experience Every time. right now. I feel like my closet's looking like that a little bit right now. It's pretty good. You're so kind. <laughs> Step number one was to gather inspiration. We chose to do this by creating a Pinterest board that we could both yeah. pin on, uh, but you can also go through magazines and cut things out and post them on a board if that's your style, but I love Pinterest. So easy. It, go through, click, just click, like, click, tick, click, 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 click. What were the kinds of images that you felt like you were drawn to? Bright colors. I wanted a lot of greenery because I was like, there's no green. It was such a small space. Mm -hmm. like, I needed some color. I, I mean, I feel like you were pretty flexible on a lot of things, but the one thing for sure you wanted was a wallpaper decal. Yeah. And yeah. there was one in particular that you had your eyes on. Why was this the one? That you really liked. I saw like a Rio one and it had like a bunch of different colors and it was just like wood and it kind of felt like matched my room. Very in line with that nature vibe that and I was And also like in for. my room there was wood pieces already there, there was already wood a furniture. desk, chair, yeah and it matched really well with that so it's like oh, yeah. it's perfect. Yeah, because when you have a dorm you don't get to choose your furniture typically yeah. so you gotta work with what you got and I think the one that you chose is a really great option because it just complemented those pieces nicely. After much deliberation uh, Chloe and I decided that that the best place to put the decal wallpaper was on the back wall. You open up the door and like that's the first thing you see. It was like right there. It's like huzzah! <laughs> Dorms, I highly recommend wallpaper decals or any sort of decal because they look really nice and they can cover up a lot of marks on your wall, but they're easy to remove. They're not going to damage the wall. How would you say the process of putting this thing up was? It was a little challenging when there's little obstacles you have to go through, or a big window, so you have to do a lot of exact when they think. Yeah, there's a lot of measuring <laughs> happening, there's a lot of scraping to try and fit everything. I mean, it was easy, easier than it was. Like I think you think it's going to be. Definitely easier than typical traditional wallpaper. I'll hold it up yeah, right now. What's, what's stopping us, you know? Yeah, let's just go for it. You can always do it with Someone. Yeah, ask, do you have a someone? For a hand. Get a get a buddy, make a friend. Also have someone to hold the wallpaper, do some scraping. Two hands are always better than one. We really loved the result once it was up, and I think it really helped give us inspiration for the rest of the room. Because, what type of colors? Yeah, you know? we were just able to pull those pinks and blues into other areas of the room. Next stage in this process was my favorite stage. I think Chloe's favorite stage as well. Shopping. Ooh. <laughs> We hit up a lot of places, Walmart, Ikea, uh, Dollarama, H&M, &M, &M, Amazon, Amazon, <laughs> everywhere. Chloe's room took a few months to decorate, we didn't do it all at once, so having a lot of time to do shopping made it so that we could get pieces that were really cute and that Chloe loved, but we could also look for good prices. Be a student on a budget, so you're like... Trying to find things at an affordable price. Yeah, you want a good deal. We even uh, decided that we were going to DIY some things. It's a great way to save some money. And Chloe also had some really great pieces like her trolley and her mm -hmm. gold lamp in her room already. So we really wanted to work with also what we already had. Girl, you got me searching. No, you're somewhere lurking. Try to make my way in the food. Just 
for like for school and stuff, you might actually end up really liking those. I think it's these ones, yeah. Well, like think of it from like a U6 um, perspective. Like, which one this do you one's think? Gonna be hard. This one I can just go yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. Quanto costa? Does it make any sense? Zero zero three. Three nine seven nine four yeah ninety nine cent. Oh, a dollar for a vase? Oh, it's gonna be all nice when we're setting it up. Right? Like I know you, touch you like I touched you yesterday night. I am under your spell, poison in my blood cells. You're the only drug that can save my body. Living let loose now. complete it was time for the assembly day we decided just to make it a day thing where we put the whole room together and it was quite an enjoyable day if yeah. I do say so myself it's the best part of the decorating room is yeah. putting it all together we got some Starbucks we put some music on we put the Netflix on it was it was a hoot <laughs> A hoot. A hoot hoot. For a pen holder DIY, we bought these pots from Dollarama. They were just basic, plain flower pots. Flower yeah. pots. And we painted them white. turning out really nicely because they're big you can fit lots of pens in there but it also tied in really well with the, the theme of the room which was like this natural organic that feel be a... yeah <laughs> we also picked up a picture frame and a sheet of twine at Dollarama and then we put them together <laughs> <laughs> that was my imitation of gluing together we put all my earrings on them yeah, it's a great earring holder. I might actually make one for myself because I am always losing those things. I know, it's hard, hard to keep them together. Mm -hmm. So cool. Was a yeah, fire. I like. The next big project on assembly day was putting up a curtain for Chloe's closet. As we said earlier on in the video, one of the things that Chloe wanted was some separation between the closet and her room. And I think a curtain is the best way to go with a tension rod because you can easily take it down once you're out of your space, but it's inexpensive and it also isn't taking up room like a typical door would. How was getting this thing up, Chloe? <laughs> a little challenging. A little challenging. Arms were getting pretty weak. Arguably <laughs> more challenging than the wallpaper, no? It has to stay leveled. Yeah. I think once again, the walls were not leveled. <laughs> and once again, have a buddy <laughs> while doing this. Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> Get it. Okay, I'll help you. Push apart, push apart, push apart, twist, push apart, push apart. It's good for now, so we can see. I got both of the pieces, the curtain rod and the curtains from Walmart, both inexpensive. So. Yeah, and I actually love the fact that we got one that was sheer, so it didn't like feel like it was too bulky. Too bulky, and it, it felt like kind of breezy, right? And then also it had texture on it, which I think if you're gonna try and buy curtains, if you can get texture on it, I feel like it makes it look more expensive than it actually is. The last big project in the room that we tackled before adding all the other little touches was the bookshelves by Chloe's bed. They're pretty bare, had nothing on there. Mm -hmm. I was just kind of just throwing anything. It was, like, it, was it was like the junk drawer, but the, the junk, junk shelves. Yeah. yeah, the junk wall. <laughs> to liven it up a bit, I ordered some vines from Amazon. Mm -hmm. it was, I got them quite a bit for like the price I paid, and we just yeah. untangled them and made them pretty. We hung them and, and we let them drape. Twinkle drink. lights. Yeah, added some twinkle lights. It gave a very like organic look to the space. Adding green to anything just really makes it. Living. Yeah, even if it's a fake plant, it still has the illusion of life, yeah. which is all that really matters. Which one looks cooler? Um, that needs another one. 
Yeah. Having fake plants in the room is a good option for any student, I think, because you don't have to water them. But it was especially a good option for Chloe because she's got allergies. Yeah, severe, severe allergies. So, to anything outside, really. I don't know. She just starts Grass, sneezing. Grass, Yeah, it's the list. Anything growing. It's lengthy. <laughs> touches around the room including Chloe's desk and side table we were done it all came together it was a complete masterpiece right yeah yeah Mas yeah masterpiece Mas masterpiece <laughs> making the space feel more like home. more like you more you know like it didn't feel like yeah. you before I walk in there I'm like damn Chloe one word <laughs> Chloe <One room. laughs> Chloe Chloe that the room is complete what would you say is your favorite part of it Chloe definitely the back wall the mm -hmm. wall pops and the white comforter and the greenery it all comes together I know I think that's my favorite part of the room too it's just every time I look over there it just looks so cute and put together I think the vines really like take it to the next level and that pretty much wraps up today's video we hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on this journey of getting Chloe's room together if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up let us know in the comment section down below what was your favorite part of Chloe's room and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a video <laughs> here on Keelan's Corner thank you so much for having no me problem. and letting me you know decorate with thank you, you for decorating I was helping. It was a collaborative was effort. Hopefully we can have you back on we being me can have you back on Caitlin's Corner soon. Maybe with for um, a baking with friends video. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. To see. Baking with family video. We will or I will see you all very soon with a new video. And until then, bye guys. Bye. That was good. I like that. Good, good job, Chloe. Oh, good job. You know I gotta get used to it? It's a struggle these days Try to keep them alive But we throw them away